What's up everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be playing a bit of a, uh, a jump from the original green white enchantments deck that we uh, played and we're going to be doing an Abzan enchantments deck. Uh, much more focused on the black and white aspect of it, less so on the like season of growth package. Uh, hopefully this mic isn't too loud. Um, do want to just mention before we jump into this, if you have a deck suggestion, please, please leave a link to it or a list, something down below. Uh, I'm super open to trying some new decks now uh i've i've played a lot of the like i'll say tier one decks for lack of a better term uh some on some on video some not on video uh but i'd like to try out some new stuff some jank stuff some silly stuff so uh feel free to leave those suggestions down below but uh this deck is very very enchantment focused obviously got a lot of built-in protection so in the one drop slot here we've got four life's bounty this gives us protection it is an enchantment itself Gives us a little bit of life gain as well, which is very, very useful in this deck. Uh, Hateful Eidolon, kind of a same or, or, or similar uh, role where it's a it's a one-two life linker, so we get to get a little bit of life out of it on one. Uh, but anytime we kill a creature with an enchantment, like Deadweight or Myers Grasp, we get to draw a card. Anytime something of ours dies that, uh, for whatever reason, might be enchanted with like a Mogus's favor or something like that, uh, we maybe we'll we'll draw cards off of that. So this gives us some extra card draw, uh, which is awesome. Deadweight and Myers Grasp and Mogus's favor are all removal, uh, fairly strong removal. In fact, uh, Mogus's favor not the best, but uh, we do find it very very strong in certain matchups, and it's repeatable, which is awesome. Uh, so that, in tandem with Deadweight on one, very, very strong. And then, of course, on two, Myers Grafts to deal with a little bit stronger stuff. Uh, in the in the era of removal, we also have Banishing Light here as a way to deal with things on board that can't be killed uh, with these three. Uh, Satessin Champion is our only green card, but a very strong one. Does draw some cards, acts as a very strong beater as well. Uh, Ephemia... I actually uh, really, really enjoy. So this card, it, it basically just gives you extra creatures every single turn in this deck. Uh, because we're so heavy on these little enchantments and things like that, it's very, very easy to get a lot of 2-2 zombies every turn. So definitely love Ephemia here. Uh, Nightmare Shepherd, also some good protection. Uh, just offers a good way to bring creatures back. And then, of course, Archon of Sun's Grace is a huge finisher. A uh, lot of times you play this out, you play even just like a dead weight, maybe not even killing anything, but you're getting a 2-2 a life linker with flying out there. Uh, so lots of really, really strong stuff. Very, very strong synergies. Our land package is fairly uh, straightforward. It's got the Godless Shrines, Overgrown Tombs, and Temple Gardens. The only uh, Temple... Uh, Scry land we're running is Temple of Silence, since we really only need green for the Satessin Champion. Uh, other than that, though, this deck is really, really sweet. Uh, fairly low curve, maxing out at four as well. So uh, we're going to give this a shot in best of one ranked uh, and see how we do. Uh, we'll probably do our normal three game uh, kind of thing. Uh, maybe we'll revisit this deck. I do need to mention this list, this exact list was taken from Day9, uh, who I, I, he may have taken it from somebody else, I don't know. But Day9 is one of my favorite uh, players and just in general streamers. So uh, just thought I would uh, jack his list really quick. Uh, <laughs> and I'm happy I did. This thing is sweet. So. This is actually a fairly strong hand, obviously a little short on lands, but I think uh, considering we have the Life's Bounty, Deadweight, Mogus's Favor, I think this is uh, fairly good, and Ephemia. <coughs> Excuse me. They mulligan down. Um, we'll see what we can do here. I, I really do like this deck. I only got to play with it uh, like twice, I think, so far. Um, I think I won one and lost one, but both of them were very, very fun games, so... Uh, I'm I'm super into uh, seeing what we can do here. Let's go ahead and attack. This could be the flash deck. Uh, don't know. We'll play this tapped uh, and pass. I'm gonna guess that it is the flash deck. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, let's play land. Let's go ahead and swing in first. And then we will play Ephemia. What's great about this is we get to leave up that one mana here. Oh, this is the flash deck. Simic flash, duh. Uh, cool. That's fine. 
Uh, next turn, hopefully we can deadweight this. We'll certainly see. Be great to draw a black land. We did not. Um, let's see if we can do this here. <clears throat> if they counter, that's fine. We just know that we can't. Yeah, perfect. That is fine. That's where a second black land would have been great because we could dead weight it again, uh, but that's fine. All right, swing in with Ephemia. At the end of the turn, we get our 2-2 black zombie. Perfect. All right. Let's see what they got. I hate this flash deck, by the way. It's very, very annoying. <laughs> Uh, but uh, with things like Deadweight and stuff, obviously these Cutthroats are a little bit tricky to deal with. Um, but if they tap out for something, we, we certainly have at least some way to deal with it. Um, let's swing in first. Not going to swing in with the zombie here solely because they can easily just uh, get rid of it. Okay. Do we want, well, we can't do that. So let's let's go for another dead weight. I'm sure they have a counter for it, but let's waste the counter. Oh, okay. That's fine. Really, really need another black source here. <clears throat> They're just gonna counter this thing up like crazy. Thankfully, we've got blockers in the way of these zombies, so not super worried about that but goodness they're really really cycling through okay hmm how do we get out of this definitely a tricky situation this is going to start pumping up uh, which is certainly not good Archon. Well, Archon's certainly good. My guess is they have a counter here. Do we at least go for it, though? They did not counter last turn, uh, but they, dig, dig, they dug quite thoroughly through their deck. I'm going to try it uh, with the expectation it's going to get countered here. Yeah, Frilled Mystic. Um, we didn't really have a whole a, a great other play anyway, though, so... No attacks. I wonder if Elspeth Conquers Death would be okay in this. Maybe not. I think Nightmare Shepherd kind of plays that role a little bit. Um, but we'll see. Satessin Champion. Well, that is a card. I'm assuming again that they probably got a counter. Oh, no, they don't. So we're going to Mogus' favor a thing. I don't supremely care what. We're going to... I guess go for this. Probably better to do this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I kind of want them to swing in. We can trade off the Ephemia, and then I have a follow-up one. So We just want to draw the card off of the champion. Probably a bad call to, to do that, though. Dang, still no land. Running low on lands, guys. Uh, the the upside to a deck like this is you can really really go crazy with a lot of creatures uh unfortunately against counter heavy decks not so great uh which unfortunately on top of the unfortunately uh there's a lot of uh azorius control decks as well as you know simic flash decks running around uh still representing a counter spell here they're gonna swing with that I think we're going to take this. It's a big hit, uh, but... Yeah. So we can Godless Shrine and then Nightmare Shepherd if we would like. Or we can Hateful Idol on see what we draw. Hmm. 
I think honestly it's going to be better than Nightmare Shepherd here. Uh, very clearly I might be playing this deck wrong, by the way. This is, again, only game three for me. So, Land is good. Do this here. A lot of triggers on the stack here. Take action. Uh, let's see. Pro blue. They have got a lot of power on the field, that's for sure. Yeah, they got this one. All right. Uh, unfortunately, not a great game one. We were a little stuck on lands there. And of course, them being the deck that they are, they're going to have all the game the answers. So uh, we'll jump into game two here in just a second. Uh, give me one second. I have a knock at the door. All right. Let's jump into game two here and see how things go. Let's see. <clears throat> I think I just faced somebody with this recently. Uh, really, really enjoying... Uh, oh, goodness. No, we cannot keep that. Yes, we can keep this. Not great, but we're going to try it. I think we put Nightmare Shepherd back, honestly. Uh, as powerful as that is. Really, really enjoying, though, um, uh, Theros Ranked. I've uh, been playing a good bit over the last couple days. Just got to gold, uh, which feels good. So hoping to uh, to drill out some more games there and see what we can do. Uh, I did release a video on that. Don't know if um, we'll do too much more of it, uh, just because if if nothing else, those videos take quite a long time to actually uh, to actually make. <laughs> um, just because you know it's like an hour and a half of gameplay, so it, it does turn into a good bit. Uh, but it is really really fun. So um, we'll see. <coughs> All right, I was really hoping they would play another 1-1 one, one there so I can deadweight it and draw two cards, but we'll keep the land on top. We do need land. Play this out. I assume they're going to burn something out here. Maybe not. Yes, okay. Makes sense. Good on them to wait till the end of the turn. Let's attack first. Great thing about this, in this situation, I don't feel as bad shocking myself like I did the first two turns of the game. Uh, solely because I know... There's going to be instances where I can draw these cards back, uh, which is nice. Wow, okay. Two Bone Crusher Giants, though they are stuck on mana. Uh, we're not doing a whole lot, but still. Okay, sure. We can deadweight that most likely, which I believe that's going to be the better option here. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. Ooh, good card. I'm gonna go ahead and deadweight this. I'm gonna wait to uh, to banishing light something bigger like a bone crusher giant. Uh, I know we'll take two from it, but I'd rather do that than uh, obviously banishing light on like a fervent champion feels pretty bad. <laughs> Yep, yep. All right. So. I 
Can either Banishing Light or Nightmare Shepherd. What's Banishing Light here? I don't know if that's 100% correct. Uh, it would technically, I guess, be more mana efficient to Nightmare Shepherd. Um, definitely the, the play that allows us to swing in, but it's not like we're swinging in for a lot, so... <clears throat> yep. Now we're worried about like Ember Cleave for sure. Oh, well, that's a good one. Let's do this first. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And we will not attack. Okay. Definitely worried about like. Long term and Ember Cleave coming down, that's definitely the, the game plan on their side, so we'll see what we can do to, to mitigate that. Mogus' favor, very, very good. Uh, Myers' Grasp, also very good. So we can do both. So let's do both. Let's do this. We'll get rid of these two. I don't know which is the better option here, to be brutally honest. I'm actually going to get rid of this. <clears throat> then I'm going to swing in with the Shepherd here. Keep the pressure on them. Uh, we're at a very comfortable life total, so if they want to swing in, that's fine. Yep, that's cool. Take action. And they look okay fair enough uh they went ahead and conceded i don't necessarily think they lost there but uh very good on our end so cool we did get one win with this deck we'll try one more time uh and see if we can uh two and one this uh do really really like this deck we haven't seen it really take off in these few games so i'm hoping we can do that in this last one here uh but either way it's a very fun deck uh definitely think it's an upgrade as well over the green white version that version seems I'll say a bit slow, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, on turn two, a lot of the time, you're just playing like a season of growth and you're not really doing anything about the opponent's board. So in a situation like that, we could have very easily just lost because we weren't doing enough. Um, but, oh my goodness, what in the world is this hand? <laughs> um, I don't think we can keep this. Uh, uh, interesting very very interesting but no we definitely can't keep this uh but in those situations we just don't have anything to interact with we can't do anything uh and so oh, goodness that feels bad too we're gonna try one more time it's not great but it's better uh we'll put this back we'll put that back man that felt terrible um we'll leave with temple here though and hopefully be able to turn to either Mogus's favor or something or Hateful Eidolon. Uh, but yeah, so in those situations, you're gold fishing. Uh, whereas this has a little bit more interaction. You've got the Mogus's favor, you've got dead weights, you've got things like that. Just to deal with those early game threats where obviously you're not always able to. Uh, we're keeping any land on top. Uh, what, where you're not always able to in the, uh, the green white version, it's very much just all in play the enchantments, draw a bunch of cards, do a bunch of stuff. It goes crazy. I think a little bit more often, like it goes over the top a little more often, but I don't necessarily think that it's like amazing. Uh, if that makes sense, um, play that out. Uh, next turn we Satessin champion, most likely they they're going to have all the removal in the world. So we're probably not in a good position in this game, but, uh, I think we go for, oh my goodness, well, <laughs> yeah, that's one, one way to do it. Uh, I mean, we play the Satessin champion, uh, not going to attack, obviously. They discard a card, what are they getting rid of? Black Lance Paragon, don't think that card's all that great, um, but okay, we're going to take a lot of damage here.
I'm gonna say no blocks. It, that feels so terrible, but oh my goodness. Well, we just lose, right? Eight down to three. Good. Very good. Okay, well, ugh, that feels so bad. Um, let's do this. That has trample too. There's nothing we can really do about that. Yeah, they just got it. We're gonna play a fourth game. That was a very quick one. Let's let's go for number four here. Great job on the opponent's side. That was a very very efficient win. I mean, we mulled to five, which was ridiculous, but. Uh, lands is definitely a big problem in this deck is what I'm finding. Um, even in the two games I played off of camera, uh, I, I was, I was struggling for lands on both of them. Uh, granted one of them I was able to pull through on, but that's, this is a keep. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a bit rough, uh, without a doubt. And a temple here, we want, again, land. Um, <clears throat> but next turn we can definitely get rid of that. Pay two. Play that out. Go ahead and do this while there's no food. Um, probably not a good matchup here, I'm guessing, but we'll see. We exile a card from our hand. Actually, I think it's an Archon. Um, we kind of want to have access to this Banishing Light if we get to it, so. Hmm. Let's play Ephemia. <clears throat> no attacks. Get our 2-2. Two -two. Ephemia feels very, very good, though, I will say. Uh, especially with all these early game things, so. We can Myers Grasp that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, they just conceded. Well, that was really weird, but sure. Um, not anywhere close to, to winning, but anyway. All right, so I guess that was a very weird uh, series of games, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We really didn't get to see the power level of the deck, but uh, hopefully in the next video we will. I think we will do another video with this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out our Patreon and our Instagram. Uh, the links are down below, but we really do appreciate you guys watching. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.